Hello and welcome everyone back to another episode of Red Cape Sports. My name is Bird Bouchard. So excited to have you all along here for another episode. On today's episode, I'm going to be taking a data dive into two upcoming NHL defensemen and tell you why one is significantly undervalued. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. All right, guys, so currently I'm in the studio. I got the setup, I got some monitors. Uh, Mitch is behind the camera filming me. And what we're going to do is, honestly, I'm just going to take you through some stats, take you through some comparison tools, and we're going to be going over why I believe one card is significantly more undervalued than the other. All right, guys, so we're gonna move over here. All right, so first and foremost, I have two charts here. As you guys can see here, um, this top graph represents Kale McCarr. Um, Kale McCarr, you all know him, you all love him. Superstar defenseman, going to win many Norrises in his career. Of course, the Norris is the award uh, for the best overall defenseman in the National Hockey League. So that's Kale McCarr. And then this bottom line here, which you can see considerably lower, is none other than Adam Fox. So Adam Fox actually won the Norris trophy award just last year. Um, he was awarded being the overall best defenseman. So um, you guys can see here, I chose the young guns. That's honestly really fair. Um, and they're both from 2019. So they're both literally from the same season. They both play the same position. Now you guys can see here, Kale McCarr last sold 325 American dollars and Adam Fox, $37.84. So immediately, um, you're trying to tell me that Kale McCarr is 10 times more valuable, 10 times better hockey player than Adam Fox? I don't think so. I don't think that's, that's fair whatsoever. Um, perhaps he's 10 times more flashier. Perhaps he scores 10 times nicer goals. But the reality is, um, I think Adam Fox is significantly undervalued when you compare him to Kill McCarr. You guys can see here, um, you know, the start price. Again, this is honestly basically what I was picking him up for. But regardless, uh, we're just focusing on this. Now, here's the thing. Look at the number of sales. 1,101 for Adam Fox. So obviously people are wanting to buy Adam Fox cards. More so than Kill McCarr. Okay, Kel McCarr is probably playing on the better team right now, but only 392 sales, okay? So when you look at that, what that immediately tells me is Adam Fox is absolutely loved in New York. I'm a Rangers fan. I see it all the time on Twitter. I see it on every single form of social media. He's loved. Adam Fox is loved. One day could be the captain of the New York Rangers, even if he's not. This is a, a, literally a guy who, grow, who grew up wanting to play for the New York Rangers and he achieved that goal and he did. And I'm gonna move over here guys because we can see Adam Fox career numbers, again, 24 years young, okay? Look at his career numbers. So in his career, 203 games played, 163 points. Sure, the goals aren't there, okay? The goals are not there. He's got 24 career goals. But if we compare that to Kale McCarr, he's got 48. So it's not that much many more goals, right? Um, of course, Kale McCarr, 28 goals this season alone for a defenseman, really good. Same thing with the points. Um, he's got a really good chance at winning the award for being the best defenseman in the league. And again, he's one year younger. Um, and I look at this, right? I mean, he's more than a point per game player, 180 versus 178. And of course, right, Adam Fox, not quite point per game player. But the reality is, Adam Fox plays on an original six team, plays an absurd amount of minutes. The New York Rangers are an extremely young team, one of the youngest teams in the NHL. They recently just made it to the second round of the playoffs as of the making of this video. And Adam Fox is a large part of that. 
This is a guy who gives you 24 plus minutes of ice time when needed, block shots, he's playing on the power play. He's just a phenomenal player. And while he might not have the goals, the points are extremely similar, okay? Uh, and again, the New York Rangers are an original six team, a very large market. Whereas Kale McCarr in the Colorado Avalanche doesn't have the market as we saw earlier ago with the card price sales. Now, I wanna do one last thing because we just compared their career points, but I wanna go back in the card ladder, okay? And I'm gonna remove these two, just not to get confused. Okay, so now we're going to grab Adam Fox PSA 10. I'm gonna click on that. And we're also going to grab Kale McCarr PSA 10, okay? Even so, you can see here, Kale McCarr, PSA 10 is still significantly more <laughs> desirable or more valuable, I should say, than Adam Fox. As we can see here, last sold for $780 and Adam Fox is still down at $200. So he's a multiple, right? He's significantly more expensive than Adam Fox. Now, if you look at the population report too, both cards have a very low pop count. But I mean, 1100 compared to 490. This card is twice as rare, let's say, of Adam Fox, yet is significantly less expensive. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Obviously, the sales, 134 to 217. A lot of that has to do with the market currently with the NHL playoffs being on right now too. But guys, the point I'm making is Adam Fox is not that far out from Kel McCarr. We saw it last season, he won the Norris for a reason. He's capable of putting up points. His team, the New York Rangers, they're an original six market. The fan base loves him. He one day could wear the C. There's so many reasons why Adam Fox cards compared to Kale McCarr are currently undervalued. Well, that does it for this installment of Red Cape Sports. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. It really helps us out to grow the channel and to reach more people who love sports card collecting as yourself. And just a reminder, if you guys are interested in learning more than just what we put out here on YouTube, down below in the video description, there is a link to our Udemy course. Ultimately there, you guys can learn tons of different things on how to collect sports cards, protect them, and ultimately invest in the sports card industry. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Till next time.